to drop the puck tonight. The Wild have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Moves it quickly over to Kaprizov. And he takes a shot. Oh, what a chance. It puts it just wide. Well, and the puck was right in his wheelhouse. He only had a small margin and wasn't able to hit it. Pucks it away in his own end. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. Through center along the wing. Minnesota's got the puck here in the open ice. And he'll take a moment to regroup back at center. And we've got an offside with a face-off looming. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still scoreless in this one. Erickson X won the draw at center. Quick pass to Brodeen. Nice save from point blank range. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. Sandheim stick work will land him two minutes for slashing. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. Scoreless game right now, James, but an opportunity on the power play. You have to find a way to convert, move that puck quickly, and open up lanes. Gets it out of his own end. Slick feed. And he takes the feed. And the lane's clogged up, blocking that. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. And they get the puck out of the danger zone. Addison's got it in the defensive end. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Oh, caught him with his head down. Stalls to all alone zone ability means he rarely misses when he gets in on a breakaway or when he's rewarded with a penalty shot. Johns can frustrate shooters with great stops in net. Let's see if one of these players can give their team the edge tonight. I know I'll be watching. Guys, back to you. Quick feed to Poldy. And he takes the dish. Couturier's gonna play it against the half wall. Puts it on net. Fantastic save! Flurry's movements are outstanding. I mean, he gets to position so quick. He's athletic, and he makes a huge save from the slot. Boldy's picking up steam. And the puck leaves the zone. They'll be forced to regroup at center. Here's a short pass to Boldy. Bats it out of midair using great hand-eye coordination. That's some smart heads-up defensive play by Niskanen. And the puck leaves the zone. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Minnesota's moving it into the offensive end. Moves it to Stahl. Here they, one on one with the goaltender. Here we go. Oh, and the defender had a different idea there. Well, he thought he had it, and then the defender comes out of nowhere wide, jumps to the puck, fights for position, and negates that opportunity. Moves it quickly over to Spurgeon. Philadelphia's got the puck. Myers has it in the defensive end. As a rookie, he's got an assist, but he's still looking for his first NHL goal. Looks to get the puck over to Johansson. On the attack along the boards. Oh, and a huge save. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We're still scoreless. And they win the draw on their own end. And now he passes up to Tippett. Quick shot! Oh, he stops him with a glove! Great reflexes there! Teams are ready for the draw. The line's been about to drop the puck. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. Came up with the save on that play. The Flyers win it. And he takes the feed. And the long range shot goes off target. Quick pass to York. Tape to tape feed on the blue line. Way off target. Well, this shot is really hard, James, but a nice reminder that a 
pulls him in and loses possession after a solid hit. Takes a shot. Oh, wow, what a pass saved by Flurry. Moves inside. Oh, it stops him again. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. The Flyers will serve two for slashing. Minnesota's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, man. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice, they know what they're doing. It'll come. Puck move back to the neutral zone. Quick feed to Patrick. Stones him in front. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Erickson X at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Erickson Eck. And he's knocked off the puck there. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And they get the puck out, and they needed that. Uh, they certainly did. This PK unit has been on fire. They get the clear. That's one. You kill valuable time. That's two. And now three. You can contest the entry. That's a great play all the way around. And they clear that puck. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. Sandheim's lugging the puck. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Nice zone entry from the right side. Picked up along the boards by Sandheim. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Off his stick! Oh, and that misses! Ah, oh, you can see the frustration in his face as he looks up at the roof. This guy knows how important it is to get the first marker in the game. Directs it on over to Polino. Fires it! And he easily stops that one. Takes the feed at the point. Huge steal at his own end. And manages to clear the zone. He's up and ready to get back on the ice. Scores! There it is, his first to the season. Oh, that one's gonna feel good, James. Anytime you get the first one under your belt, guess what? There could be many more coming now. Well, he does a great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one-timer that he's able to get off beats the goaltender clean. Minnesota's opportunistic game finally pays off as they have the game's first goal here in the back half of the frame. Uh, now it's about continuing to push, right? One goal simply isn't enough. You're at the back half of the first, which means there's over 40 minutes left to play in this game. They gotta continue to execute if they wanna wind up with a W at the end of this one. Tried to make a move and the puck hops away. It almost looked as if he was gonna get by the defender, but that extra move took his face away and it goes the other way. There's a shot! Too much congestion in front. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck. Pass out front! Picked off in front. Gets a hold of the puck from the right side. Takes lines, come on! Solid check to slow him down. Here's a short pass to Zuccarello. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. We got a 1-0 game to this point. And they take possession after the defensive zone faceoff. Skates across the blue line. Centering feed! And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Passes it to Polino. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Referee singling for a delayed penalty. Looks like they caught that slash. Well, you can see the coach looks skyward on that third call of the period. They know that they got to get back to even strength and get some kind of offense generated.
They scored earlier on the power play, James, and it was simple, but it was effective. Why? Because they know the personnel and they know the strengths of their team. And guess what? It's all on the blue line and the way they shoot the puck. And it is hard and it is heavy, but it's about getting the screen in front, whether it's a flash. And they strike once again with the extra attacker. Wow, this has been a potent power play. And two things you need. You need creativity, but you also need structure. And the players know exactly where they need to be to set up to work their magic around the perimeter and then open up the lanes to attack the net. The Wild have to be feeling good about themselves right now based on the start that they've got off to. Yeah, if you go lead pretty good, isn't it, James? Especially when you're looking to head into the intermission, get a little bit of a break. The challenge will be come out focused, not get too comfortable, and continue to press. Let's see what the officials are calling. Here we go! We knew that they were going to respond after he got clipped. They have to respond, James. It's the right thing to do. If your star player gets bone crushed or flipped, you have to find a way to answer and respond for him. And scores the takedown, and that'll bring this one to an end. Yeah, gets his weight over him and takes him down to the ice, and he's going to be the victor in this one. The road team's bench... their sticks standing up as they cheer on their player and that tilt went their way. Voracek's an important piece to this power play unit, guys. He's got that zone ability and it can really be the key to get things going here and give them the advantage. And they continue to apply pressure here. Slides it quickly to Eriksson Ek. Moves around along the half wall. The Flyers take possession on the defensive end. With some open space at center. Ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. Nice job tying up his opponent. Denies him. He got all of it. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Scooped up along the wall by Stahl. The Flyers are going to have to move it up quickly here if they're going to capitalize on this power play. Maroons out of the box. He owes a lot of credit to that penalty kill unit. A game of inches, and he puts it off the outside of the post. Philadelphia's players are frustrated. They know that you don't get the great looks all the time in the game, and they also know how close this one is. They have to find a way to stay confident, continue with the game plan as they press towards the offensive zone. Couturier's out there on this shift, guys, and he's looking to spark this team. If he can use his own ability to generate scoring chances, he could really influence this game. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. Moves it to Kaprizov. Sends the pass in front. Great defensive hits up play to pick it off. The Flyers take it across the blue line. Takes a shot. Oh, he's so good. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. It's some gymnastics at its finest. And he takes the pass. The Flyers have had their opportunities, but they just can't capitalize here in the late stages of the opening period. Johansson's won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Taken by Myers. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. Handles the pass. Moves it quickly over to Goudreau. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. 
Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Here in the later stages of this period, Minnesota's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Great reach with the poke check by Farabee. From the left side, moves it up ahead. Here we go, pucks in deep. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more. Fans are fortunate tonight to proceed to a Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Flurry's been fantastic in the game so far, James. I mean, he's the only reason his team is still in it. And that's intercepted by Spurgeon. Takes the feed. Driving right to the front. Knocks it away with the paddle. Great poke check. Philadelphia's got the puck against the half wall. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Brodeen. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Shot! Scores! And that's three unanswered goals. And as my mom likes to say, they're cooking with gas. <laughs> they're cooking with gas. And you can expect that they have put their opponents on their heels. This is a team that knows that they've worn their opponent down. Now they've got to keep the pedal to the metal. This is an amazing goal, James, and it starts with incredible speed and maneuverability. You know that you can move the puck side to side and open up and create space like that. You know that you're lethal. And that's exactly what he does before he delivers a pass, and it winds up in the back of the net. Hayes wins it in the neutral zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Here's a shot. Nothing doing. Players work too hard to have the puck on their stick and to get to scoring areas to not hit the net. Even if they don't score, they'll get a rebound if they at least hit the tender. What a steal in his own end. Quick pass to Atkinson. Directed over to Sanheim. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Minnesota's really put the squeeze on here now, up by three. The Flyers win that offensive zone faceoff. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. And he can't hang on after that hit. Center in front, and that's stopped. Quick feed to Spurgeon. From the boards, he takes that pass. Couturier's across the line now and on the attack. Oh, the eyes of the play! Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. Puck picked up by Felino. Tries to get it to Brodine. Slides the pass over to Felino. From the neutral zone, moving forward here along the boards. Shot! Oh, misses the net! You know he'll want that one back! Cheryl. Well, he certainly will, James. That puck is following him around, and you can see he saw the opening, but wasn't able to put it on net. Right up the gut, here they go. Tosses it to Middleton. Minnesota's looking to break out. And it's a quick pass to Zuccarello. Minnesota's crossed the line and on the attack. To the low side. James, in particular in the offensive. 
defensive zone. There's been so much motion. It's disrupting coverage, and it's opening up lanes to the net. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. Picked up along the wall by Giroux. And puts it up the crossbar. Had the goalie beat up high, but not the bar. Philadelphia's working hard, but nothing's been going right for them in this game. Another chance off the post, and this is deflating for an entire bench who needs something to get them going. Voracek stick handling in his own zone. Great use of the stick at center by Middleton. Backtracks with possession back inside the defensive zone. Tries to get the puck to Kaprizov. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. And now he moves it quickly to Konechny. The Flyers looking against the half wall. The scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, uh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor. These are the type of competitive plays that win hockey games, James. Being relentless and tenacious on a puck, even when you've lost your balance. And that's keeping your eyes on it, knowing where everyone else is. It's critical awareness, but most importantly, it's that secondary effort, that fight that leads to the goal. The Flyers finally show some life here, but it's still too much to not enough at this point. Yeah, they've been out-battled, they've been outscored, and they've just been outplayed this whole game, but they've got to use that goal as a positive reset and just look forward. Frost, quick stick, lands from the puck here at center. Shot! And he shuts the ball on that. Flurry's been really sharp tonight, James. And then just have a look at his save percentage. And he's making the stops that he needs to. But man, this team's played well. The Buck going north, they've created opportunities. And the reason why, they have a healthy lead. Here's a short pass to Niskanen. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Puck jumped in and the forwards are gonna skate off. Sandheim's got the puck in his own zone. Gaining momentum up along the side. Grabbed along the board by Frost. And that's intercepted by Goligoski. Handles the puck. Here's a chance, gets in front of it. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. More than half the period has expired. The Flyers are in a desperate need of a goal as they still trail by three. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Taken along the wall by Provorov. He carries the puck up along the wing. With possession along the wall. Minnesota's got the puck. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. Puck grabbed by Myers. The Flyers gain the zone. He grabs the puck here at the point. Denies him in close. Pitlick's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it. And the entire bench knows that they're in big scores. I love this snapshot from in tight, James, that beats the goaltender, but how about the will to get to those tough areas? I mean, that's what it's all about. You can have the skill, but you gotta have the will. The Wild have been absolute savages on the puck tonight here, Cheryl. And I mean, look at the score here. We're still in the second. Yeah, they've got the healthy lead, and their opponent has no answer. Anything that they throw at them, they just come back with a counter punch. I mean, they've been unbelievable and dominant tonight. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Minnesota's latest goal has now given them a four-goal lead. Erickson X won a big draw on their own end. Looks to pass it to Hartman. Good solid check and he loses control of it. Philadelphia's got a hold of it against the wall. Fires it on net. Oh, and it just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Pace gets a shot on goal and he's back on the ice after serving that five minute major for fighting and you can be frustrated, but listen, you gotta get scoring chances, you gotta be on the ice to get them. 
Official signals for the players to get into position, and we're about ready to drop the puck. Minnesota's got possession here in their own end. Denied by Fleury. Moves it to the middle. Dumps it in. The Flyers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Moves it to Rossi. Philadelphia is looking to break out of their own end. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Hayes will play it from the side. And there's a great save by Fleury. Stop that one. The Wild have possession along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Maroon. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. They put the puck into the offensive end. Quick pass across to Faraby. Picked up along the boards by Frost. Minnesota's got possession of the puck. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. Open the seedings account this month that they may need to get access to team press conferences. Practice for the tour. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Well, two periods down. Here we go with the third period. Cheryl, your assessment so far. Minnesota's been dominant through two periods of play, James. They have a comfortable lead now, and the coach can look down their bench and say, hey, listen, let's get everyone out there. Let's maintain the energy. Let's finish this off right. Let's bring it home. Lots of time left in this period. Minnesota's got a 5-1 lead. They've been on cruise control all night. Stalls won the faceoff. Moves it quickly over to Zuccarello. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Handles the puck from the left side. Shot just gets enough to keep it out. Get it to go. And that's a smart heads up play by Niskanen. Voracek's got it in the offensive zone. That's some smart heads up defensive play by Spurgeon. And now it's over to Kaprizov. Puts it on net. Misses a golden opportunity there. You're in the slot, you gotta hit the net. And somehow he hangs on. They've got numbers here. Minnesota's got control of it now from their own end. Picked up along the wall by Stahl. Great use of the stick here at center ice. And now he angles it across to Zuccarello. Slides the puck over. Oh, and he keeps it out of the net as it goes off the glove. Angles it over to Hayes. He's got a step. Some steam at center ice. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Oh, we got a piece of it to keep it out. The Flyers continue to trail here in the third period despite being the busier team offensively tonight. Philadelphia's won the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Stop by the goaltender. He's out battling his opponent right now. He is so dialed in. He's tracking the puck, making save after save. It's about time this team starts working in front of him. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. Minnesota's put on an excellent display of firepower, leading 5-1. Here he is, Rissler on the ball, breaks it off the outside of the iron. Thought he had the corner, but clearly not. The Flyers can get an in for effort tonight, but they're going to get a D for hitting the back of the net. How many times can they wire it off? 
Philadelphia is through center and now in the offensive end. Denied by the goaltender. Scores! He put it into his own net. Oh, that's a really tough goal, James. You can see the frustration on his face and the body language. Just thinks he lost track of it and it's found the back of the net. The Flyers are starting to show a little respectability here amongst themselves as they get one back. Yeah, it's about mojo. It's how you end the game with good habits because you want to make sure that you don't carry the beginning of the game into your next one. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Sends it over to Rossi. Oh, and a misfire as that goes right out of the zone. Stomps him with the blocker. Here's a shot. the feed from his own end. Can't keep a hold of it. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Flurry's last save was so impressive, James. Really a last-ditch effort to find the puck. When you out-battle, when you out-will your opponent, everyone around you gets energized. Just look at the bench. Everyone is elevated because of that save. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Grabbed along the boards by Farabee. Great forecheck by Frost. Sends the pass over. Great pressure on the offensive end by Tippett. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Rossi. Pass to Hartman. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Proveroff. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Battle along the boards. Looking for space inside the D zone. Flurry's going to opt for the whistle. I don't mind this call here in the third. Neither do I. Listen, he has been so dialed in all night, James. He has been excellent, arguably their best player. And he's trying to preserve the lead here by holding on to this one to get the face off. Erickson X won it off the face off. Feeds the puck across to Brodine. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Sends a pass over. Oh, and puts that one wide and big time at that. Well, where was that going? You do all the right things to get to the right spot, and then you whiff one way wide. Under siege and finally grabs that one and covers up for a whistle. Philadelphia's run into a hot goaltender tonight. They've had no shortage of scoring opportunities, but yet they can't convert, and they trail here in the third. They take possession as he locks him up off the faceoff. Goaltender covers up and will get a faceoff. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Stahl's been able to provide some offense in this matchup, guys, so I have to give him the edge in this one. Giroux's won the draw, and they look to set up. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Philadelphia's got a hold of it along the wall. Giroux's got it against the boards. Denies him! And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Spurgeon's moving the puck through his own zone. Receives the pass. Turn that chance aside. I really like to save James because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Stopped by the goaltender. They are really poor on the pressure here. Oh, what a save right there. And the D comes up with it. Oh, there's a hit. And they go the other way as they clear the zone. Philadelphia's got a hold of the puck now. having a 
knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there's defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Philadelphia is clearly sending a message that they're not going to roll over in this one. The two-goal deficit, they have to have desperation and urgency. They'll need two players on the puck at all times. Retrieval to possess the puck is necessary. But this time of the game, you know the coach is in your ear. you got to find a way to make a good puck decision. Get it? There he is on a breakaway! And that one doesn't go! What a save! For the goal, he makes a huge save at a critical point in the game. But for the shooter, you have to find a way to convert as you run down the stretch. And he turns that one aside. Oh, he got it. The Flyers are on the attack. Sets it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Fires to the empty net, misses. The Flyers gain possession along the wall. Now over to Lawton. They've got numbers. Great heads up play with the stick by Golodowski. Taken along the wall by Hartman. Puck scooped up by Addison. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Rips it from the point, and he hangs on just as time runs out. And there's the final horn, putting a bow on this one here this evening. Minnesota's offense came out like gangbusters, then they kind of tucked that away and just kind of defended the rest of the night. Yeah, I think the offense dried up because they are on their heels a little bit, and there were some nervous moments out there, but they got the win anyways because they did protect the lead. Hope you had as much fun as we did here tonight, and we will see you the next time. At least we hope so. From all of us here at EA Sports, take care, everyone.